Um, look, you've been across this story from the start. Look, what can you tell us about this right now? Yeah, this is just coming to us in the last 15 minutes or so, Vicky. As you mentioned, Ralph Ranjit close to finalising a deal to become the Manchester United interim manager until the end of the season. Now, the discussions are ongoing with Ranjit and Locomotive Moscow because, remember, Ranjit holds a post as the manager of sports and development at Locomotive Moscow. So Manchester United are very respectful of the role that he has and wants to do things the proper way by speaking to Locomotive Moscow and to Ranik himself to make sure that that transition can be as smooth as possible. The deal under discussion, as I mentioned, interim manager until the end of the season, plus two years remaining at Manchester United in an advisory or a consultancy role. So United remain in talks with Locomotive Moscow over his release. And as it stands, Michael Carrick will be in charge of the game against Chelsea, as we reported earlier, as this deal develops and Manchester United can finalise it. But this does fit in with what Manchester United wanted to do. You remember, on Sunday, this has moved very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Saturday, they had that damaging home um, away defeat to Watford. Uh, by four goals to one, proved to be the tipping point for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He was then sacked on the Sunday, and in that statement, Manchester United said, Michael Carrick will take charge for forthcoming games before an interim is appointed until the end of the season. So there was an, almost an interim into an interim into a permanent <laughs> Um, manager. Now, a lot of people questioned why are Manchester United doing that? Why have they not got someone in place to replace Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? The simple answer for that is they didn't want to take that course of action. They did not want to sack Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But as I mentioned there, the Watford defeat proved to be the final straw as far as uh, United and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was concerned. Mm. So they put this plan into place whereby they would bring someone in to give themselves a bit of breathing space. Michael Carrick, who knows the squad, people were questioning that as well. He was part of the coaching team that had got United into the trouble in the first place. Mm. But United felt that this was the way to go because he knew all the players. It would be a smoother transition whilst giving giving themselves time to get that interim in place. And now this one looks like it is moving very, very quickly, very close with Ralph Ranić, the, the former Schalke manager, the RB Leipzig and Red Bull Salzburg director of football. And I mean, what he did for um, RB Leipzig, taking them from the fourth tier in German football right up to the Bundesliga and into the Champions League and then got them to a runners-up finish as well. So he's highly thought of um, amongst other managers as well. A lot of managers have used his methods, the so-called Gagan pressing, yep. of how teams press oppositions when they lose the ball. A lot of managers have adopted that style and credited Ralph Ranić for that. And it looks like now, if Manchester United can finalise that deal with Locomotive Moscow to release him from that position of the manager of head of sports and development, Ralph Ranić will be the Manchester United manager until the end of the season. Yeah, and I guess in terms of finances, that'll help in, you know, in terms of not having to get somebody from their contract right now. So that's a good thing for Manchester United. But I guess my question is, that person that does take over as the permanent role, how will that affect them? Because they're going to have a Ranić hanging over them, aren't they? as a consultancy role in a consultancy role but i mean i think manchester united have, have looked at this they've mm. they've interviewed a number of candidates uh, as far as we're aware for this interim role ernesto valverde was was being spoken yeah. about uh, rudy garcia yeah. the former lille roma and leon manager was being spoken about as well ranić came to the fore in the past few days and i think manchester united had thought this could be a good move for us because of all of his experience, both off the pitch and on the pitch as well. So a manager until the end of the season, it works to the plan that Manchester United have put in place on Sunday. And remember, Mauricio Pochettino is their number one target. Mauricio Pochettino, we're told, is interested in the job. But to take him away from PSG mid-season, it would have proved very, very difficult because if you look at things from Paris Saint-Germain's perspective, they don't really want to sack Mauricio Pochettino because then they would have to pay the compensation. They had to do that with Thomas Tuchel last year before he went to Chelsea. So by making this interim role, I think it fits with what Manchester United planned to do once they decided that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was no longer going to be the manager. And because they didn't have a permanent replacement in place, they thought, right, if we can bring an interim in, 
he can provide stability and momentum is what, what I was being told until the end of the season before they can take a step back again, the season's over and then we can refocus, regroup and then appoint our permanent successor to Solskjaer. Yeah, and I guess it works all round because if you're going to sign a contract, you know, just for a few months, it's not really going to suit you. So that consultancy role gives them a bit of a, you know, a, a, a carrot as well. But I, I guess there's also a question in terms of, you know, if he does brilliantly, what happens <laughs> then? You know, do then they say, hang on a minute, the permanent manager were put on hold and... He swiftly I, I, I've asked this very question with regard to Michael Carrick, with regard to an interim manager, if, if, if. Yeah. It, it, it is hypothetical. Yeah. And what would constitute doing brilliantly to get the job? Could it be a Champions League win or, or something mm. along those lines? But look, I think the way that this deal is being discussed, I think Ralph Ranić, it would be happy to do this for an interim period and then provide his expertise and an advisory and a consultancy role to the new manager. And I, I see what you're saying with regard to the next manager. I'm sure they will have discussions, whoever that next manager will be, be it Maurizio Pochettino or somebody else, mm. and tell them, this is how it's going to work at Manchester United. You will have control over the first team matters and you can call upon an expert. And what a guy to call upon in Ralph Ranić. Yeah. Um, if ever you need any advice or consultancy. So I think as far as Manchester United are concerned, if the Ranić deal can be rubber stamped, I think it is exactly what they planned to do once Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had departed.